Hello guys, my name is Christine. You can call me Joseph. My name is Ivan and this is our vlog. Hello guys and welcome to another episode. My challenge is to travel Europe for less than 10 euros a day. What I love about studying in Germany is that we are in the middle of Europe and the flight tickets are super cheap. In Taiwan, if you want to buy a round trip ticket, it's at least 100 euros. But here in Germany, you can get one as low as only 20 euros. I've always wanted to travel to Vienna, Budapest and Copenhagen. So I've picked these three destinations for my trip. However, I'm still a student. I don't have an income stream yet. So I need to put extra attention on my travel expenses. Now let's head to the airport. Today I'm heading to Vienna. Good morning. I'm in Schönbrunn Palace. To go inside, it costs 20 euros, but to enjoy the garden here, it's for free. It is free to go to the St. Stephen Cathedral. So I've finished my trip in Vienna. It is possible to only spend 10 euros a day, but I didn't want to sacrifice the precious time with my friends. They wanted to go to museums and eat at restaurants. I didn't want to miss out any of that fun, so I went with them but you can still find beautiful attractions and you can also visit the outside of the beautiful palaces for free. For that reason, I spent over 10 euros a day, but I had a lot of fun with my friends. So I'll make it up in Budapest, don't worry. Today I am at Budapest. Let's see how far I can get with only 10 euros in my pocket. We share it with four people and it only cost us 10 euros per day for this place. The best way to save money is to buy your breakfast and some snacks at the grocery store. We are at the Great Market Hall. And there's a lot of local food here. Let's see what we can find for lunch. I had a great time in Budapest. The weather was awesome. For me, it was a lot better than Vienna. The prices here are so cheap. Even though I traveled to Budapest with my friends, I completed the 10 euro challenge. In total, I think it was around nine euros something. The next stop for me is Copenhagen. Let's go. Right behind me is the Danish Design Museum. And guess what? It's free for students. Just finished the free tour. Let's see if I can find something to eat. I never quit. That's the traditional Danish hot dog for only 27 Danish crowns. That's the cheapest food I found over here. I recommend trying this one out. I've been exploring the Christmas market for some time and I could not afford anything here. 50 crowns, that's almost seven euros for a hot dog. So for summary, I had a Danish hot dog for lunch, a kebab for dinner, and I explored the wonderful city of Copenhagen for free. And with all that, I still have 17 crowns in my pocket. Success. Hello guys, I'm back in Karlsruhe in my room right now. Last week was super fun. For Vienna and Budapest, I went with my friends and that easily goes over your budget. But when I go to Copenhagen, I was on my own. So I had much more flexibility about my plan, about my spendings. Even though it's a much more expensive country, I managed to spend less than 10 euros a day and I still enjoy the entire trip. So I say we can check this box and move on to the next challenge. Yes. 